Well, what's your favourite Valentine's Day movie? Is it The Notebook, Harry Met Sally, Romeo and Juliet? Your generation may go further back. It might be more recent. It could be anything, really. We'll get to Valentine's Day movies just in a minute, but uh, joining me at the desk is the movie analyst himself, Shane A. Bassett. How are you, buddy? <laughs> I'm very well, thanks, Tim. I love being here, and it's a special week with Valentine's Day movies. I'm quite partial to a good rom-com. Yeah, me too. And chick flick. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I've been known to cry in insurance ads at times, but, um, <laughs> but let's start with something which is uh, another genre, the, the dry two, force of nature. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is an exceptional Australian production. Mm. Uh, Eric Banner leads the way. Uh, it's a, it covers some murky territory, though. Who's telling the truth? What really happened? A group of girls go out hiking. Um, one doesn't come back in the Victorian mountains, but no one's talking. No one's saying what happened to her. So uh, you've got Eric Banner's detective, Falk, who uh, is just a grizzled, grizzled, doesn't want to be there mm. and do it, but he gets down to it. And honestly, the acting in this movie, the ensemble of great Australian talent, including Jacqueline McKenzie, is in it as well, who I've always liked. Uh, great film, great Australian production and riveting. It just keeps you guessing all the way through. How many stars from Shane A. Bassett? Four. Four stars. That's Four good. out of five. I'll have to make sure I get to see that now. Sanctuary on binge. Yeah. Um, pulsating, steamy, manipulative thriller, <laughs> yeah. all those words. Yeah, I've got to be careful what I say about this because I do not want to give it away. It's the mm. movie of the week. Basically, it's just two people in a very expensive hotel room. But you don't know whether they know each other. Are they friends? Are they not friends? Are they something else? Uh, and as the movie goes, it just gets higher and higher in intensity mm. and you can't look away. Uh, it's not for the faint-hearted. Expect the unexpected. And the acting, in particular from Margaret Qualley, who is the daughter of Andy McDowell, oh. uh, on fire. But just this movie, just watch it. You've got to get through the first 10 or 15 minutes and then you'll think, why am I watching this? But stick with it. It is a pulsating, as you say, movie. As Loved soon it. as you said Annie McDowell, I saw her hair. The, uh, there's there's the striking similarities. Yeah. What, what kind of score is uh, you look at this one? Well, look, it's a chamber piece because it's really only the two actors in it. Um, but it is riveting, and I'm going to give it a four and a half. Okay, four and a half. So that yeah. is. And where, where would you get to watch it? Is that in it's, most cinemas or? No, that's on binge only. On binge. What am I saying? Binge. Yeah, no. binge only. It was in cinemas briefly last mm. year, but now you can stream it. OK. Yeah. Now, I'm talking about Joe Biden's memory. <laughs> we just said it was on me. <laughs> anyway, dream scenario. Um, tell me. Ah, well, Nicolas Cage, the, the actor who pumps out, like, five movies a year, some better than others. Uh, he, he puts so much good stuff up, but there's some crap, oh, too, yeah. isn't there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I've sat through them all. <laughs> well, that's fine. That's my job. Yeah. Uh, this one in particular is one of his best performances I've yeah. seen in a long time. It's understated. He plays a professor who turns up in people's dreams randomly. His students' dreams, his friends' dreams, his family's dreams. And they're all good. They're all good nature. But no, he becomes like this internet sensation. Mm. But the dreams keep ha happening, but they end up turning bad. The people are getting scared of him. Uh, and there's a big twist in the tale. Mm, so, a great film. Very uh, low-key, but it another one that builds with suspense. And it's quite funny. Nicolas Cage is so funny when he wants to be. He's good at comedy. He changed his name, didn't he, originally? Cause he, cause he, he was Nicolas Ford. Coppola. Yeah. He was Nicolas Francis Coppola. Francis Ford Coppola's. Yeah. Yeah, he's the... Uh, that's his uncle, Francis nephew, Ford Coppola. Yeah. yeah. So he's now Nicolas Cage and has been since 1983 when he and was... did that on purpose so he could divorce oh, himself from I think that. so. Yeah. yeah, I think so, because he's got a brother, Roman, and mm. Roman Coppola still calls himself that by that name. Mm. Um, not as a prophetic actor as Nicholas, but Nicholas won an Oscar, of course, yeah. uh, in 1996 for Leaving Las Vegas. But he pumps out some odd movies. Oh, yeah, like a fantastic actor. <laughs> He's good. Yeah, the good, the bad. He was in yeah, Australia yeah. recently, yeah, Western Australia. Uh, mm. That movie's coming out this year. It's the, called The Surfer. OK, The Surfer with Nicholas Cage. Yeah. All right, finally, um, Feb 14, uh, Valentine's yes. Day. Yes. Now, I've always loved Harry Met Sally. When Harry Met Sally is one of my all-time favourites, mm. it's having its 35th anniversary this year. Oh, 1989 it was mm. released. Uh, you got Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal. Carrie Fisher is in it. Uh, but Meg Ryan was on top of her game then. She was like the rom-com queen. And that movie about opposites attract and can, can a guy and a girl be friends and platonic and things happen and mm. it's just it, it's a beautiful movie. And it intercuts with real uh, couples. If you remember, it has mm. some uh, real couples getting interviewed during the film. 
Oh, they had some great techniques, yeah. cinematic techniques, didn't they? And oh, that, that, yeah. that helped it. And that, that one scene at the cafe, I'll have what she's having. I'll have was... what she's having. It's an iconic mm. line now. It's mm. in, like, the top ten lo movie lines of all time. And there was... I think we saw a little bit of Four Weddings and a Funeral. What else sort of makes your little Valentine's... Four Weddings and a Funeral is amazing. I always get, love that film. Uh, and Sweet November, I'd like to recommend, because it, it's lesser known. It's got Keanu Reeves and Charlize Theron. And their connection is terrific. Uh, Shelley's Theron plays this woman who has an affair on a monthly basis mm. and then moves the person on. But this time with Keanu Reeves' character, they have this massive connection and he doesn't want to leave. But she has a reason why she needs to move these people on and that's, that's the story. So. so where will you find Sweet November? Uh, I think you can only dust off your old DVD oh, if you okay. have a copy, but it is available to rent on digital platforms. Yeah, okay. yeah it's not streaming on any platforms. Charlie's Theron. All right, there She's you go. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. We'll do it all again next week. Thanks, Tim. Bye, Thanks, mate. Thanks, Shane. Appreciate it.